How are you? And welcome to week number six. Even I have a bad memory and I have to look at a piece of paper so that I can make sure that I have the date and the time and what I'm supposed to talk about and all those things together, sort of like an outline. That's really important. As you've gone through weeks one through five, you see how important an outline and a bibliography is in order to make sure that you get the proper information. We're still in the middle of occasions and other formats. We're still in the middle of giving those short, quick, pointed speeches. Now, later I'll give you an idea about a couple of those things, but you got to remember you want to make it memorable so that it's positive. You want to leave where people remember, wow, that was a great thing he or she said, or do you want to leave them with, Ooh, that really wasn't good. You want a good reputation or a bad memory? Always choose the good reputation. This week, a nomination speech. What are you nominating someone for? Who can, what can you get nominated for? You can get nominated for a political office. You can get nominated for an office in a student organization. Or you can get nominated for a committee at work. You can get nominated for an award. You choose. You choose a topic that's germane to where you are. So if you're working, and you're working for a corporation, nominate someone for a committee. You may be on a chair, you may be on a board, and you may be the board chair, and you may need to do a nomination for a person to get a seat on the board. It could be for anything. It could be for dog catcher, it could be for anything. But the point is, a nomination, you have to speak highly of a person, and you have to give qualifications, and you have to do all those types of things that the text talks about when it comes to giving a nomination. Um, make sure the elements are clear, make sure they're concise, but of course, if it's impromptu, it's the E word again. If the A word is audience, the E word is ethical. You have to remember that your nomination speech has to be truthful, not accurate, truthful. You've got to give the truth about the person. And then of course, the second one is the acceptance speech. Have you ever accepted an a nomination for something? Have you ever accepted an award? What do you say? Um, I really can't think of the person that said be, the, that made the saying around being about brevity, but it's a good example of what you should do in a nominating. If, I'll get it right. Not a nominating speech, but accepting a nomination. Be brief. Don't be so brief that you just walk up and say thank you, but be brief enough so that you can convey your uh, pride in accepting the nomination, your pride in accepting the award, and that you support and thank the nominees and the people for giving you the award. Have some fun. Uh, remember to be ethical, be creative. Remember, stay away from the bad things like hate speech and bias and all those things. But be creative, have some fun, and I look forward to seeing your presentation.